Hello, happy Monday. Ah, as you can see, it is super, super sunny today. So, perfect day to film, I thought. Happy Sagittarius season. Sun is officially in Sagittarius. I think it's at one, one degree today. Awesome. Ha, I finished my bag. So thought I'd, thought I'd uh, bring it out and show you. Oh, uh, hold on. Hey. Hold on. Sorry about that. I swear, every time, <laughs> for the last month at least, every time I've sat down to do something important, the dogs have been either all up in my face or <laughs> distracting me or going a little crazy. It's really annoying. <sighs> Just made some tea. Okay, right. So, yes, I was going to show you my bag. Okay, so. I'm quite proud of this, actually. I also made the belt that it is on. I backed the belt with a couple layers of denim and then made the, <laughs> the decision that I was going to stitch the whole damn thing. Why did I do that? I don't know. <laughs> it was a lot of work. Um, but yeah, my my little sister went through her craft things and she um, she had a bunch of buckles. So I was like, uh, yes, thank you. Yes, please. Yes, please. So yeah, front of the bag's got a buckle. And then on the inside, I've got... Let's see if you can see it here. So I've got a couple pockets here. So we got one here that my phone fits in. And then I put, like, another little pocket in front of that that fits my debit card and ID and stuff and then there's another pocket here that I just had my pen tucked into it goes pretty deep and then uh, you know uh, it's pretty sweet and then the belt this is how the belt attaches so I can take I can take the belt out if I want yeah it's pretty sweet so anyway that was fun it was a lot of work, but I am quite pleased with the end result. Yeah. I thoroughly enjoy doing leather work. Um, it's quite calming. It's a pretty, like, meditative practice. Uh, once, like, you get the, the pattern and all the pieces cut out, and even that part, even that part, there's a lot of, like, you know, you, you have to be mindful while you're doing it, or, or it's really easy to fuck it up. And, uh, you don't want to mess up leather, like, yeah, it's like, it could, it could be an expensive fuck up. <laughs> so anyway, I brought my runes out. I figured I would do a rune reading for the beginning of Sagittarius season and the beginning of this week. <sighs> that sun is just fabulous. So yeah, how are you guys doing? Um... I'm not going to even comment on what's happening on the world stage right now. I'll let the runes speak for themselves. Uh, but I will say this. <sighs> there definitely comes a point where you have to trust yourself and you have to trust what your eyes and your ears see and hear I think this is essential and the essence of gaslighting is when someone tells you that what you perceive is real is not that's what gaslighting is and the term actually originates from a play that was adapted into a movie where a husband and a wife they had uh, gas lights in their house and uh, the husband was 
concealing the fact, hiding the fact, that uh, he had access to another apartment above their apartment. And in that apartment, there was uh, a dead body, basically. And uh, every time he goes up to the upstairs to do whatever, uh, and he turns on those gas lights, it, because uh, it's all connected to the same, it's all connected to the, the same apartment, just turning on those gas lights dimmed the lights in the apartment where the wife was. And uh, she noticed that they were dimming and uh, would mention it like, it's so weird, the lights went dim and they keep, it keeps happening. And uh, every time she would say this to conceal the fact that you know, he was a lying murderous bastard. <laughs> he would say, no, you're crazy. S nothing happened. The lights are perfectly fine. You should get your eyes checked. That's gaslighting. God within, God without. How shall I ever be in doubt? There's no place where I may go and not to see God's face, not know. I am God's vision and God's ears. To the harvest of my years, I am the sower and the sown, God's self unfolding and God's own. And the reason why I say that a little rhyme, rhyme prayer, you could say is I'm accessing my own inner divine self before I pull runes. There are a lot of different like little rituals of protection and stuff that you can do before pulling runes, before pulling cards, or doing any divination that, that you want. Um, that is what I like to do for me. God, that sun is brilliant. Okay, so the first rune indicates <clears throat> where we're coming from. That which has already passed. Which is Manas. This is the rune of mankind. It represents awakening and removing the blinders and uh, seeking knowledge. It's the rune of any true seeker, you could say. Ooh, hot tea. And uh, it's kind of funny, actually, I pulled that rune for myself for my own personal reading this morning. But it was upside down, which indicates that for me, this is blocked. Um, <laughs> and then I pulled some tarot cards to ask how I could unblock it, and the first card that came out was the sun, so here I am sitting under the sun, and the rune I pulled was Manos. <laughs> okay. Our current present position, what is the challenge we're facing right now? Hagalas, of course. This is the hailstone, or the hailstorm, the elemental storm. That's the rune of crisis, of things that can't really be avoided, and really you shouldn't try to avoid crisis. Uh, and the reason why I say that is because it's it's gonna happen anyway uh, the only real preparation that you can take is to just prepare for it <laughs> and I mean how do you prepare for the unknown well you work on your your spiritual foundation on your physical foundation and you focus on how you can empower yourself 
And the third rune represents what will possibly come to pass. The outcome. Degas. Fascinating. Degas is definitely like, it's daylight. It's transformation. It is actually, you can look at manas. The same shape as in manas. It's transformation. It's shifting from one state of being to another. It is the meeting of day and light. Day and light? <laughs> day and night. <laughs> light and dark. Life and death. It's a synchronization of left and right hemispheres. Realization. It really ties into the awakening of manas. Manas, Hagalas, Dagas. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm surprised I didn't pull Solu since I'm sitting under the sun and it's so brilliant and warm right now. I would say that <clears throat> Dagas in this position indicates that whatever crisis is coming and is already here, uh, you have an opportunity to deal with it in a positive way or a negative way. And depending on your mental, spiritual, physical state while you deal with this crisis will indicate the outcome for you personally. So if you approach this, whatever this is, from an attitude of hopelessness, helplessness, despair, victim mentality, anything like that, you'll stay in those states. But if you approach it from If you approach it from an attitude of, I will use this as fuel. If you approach it from an attitude of taking responsibility for yourself and for your outcome, you're much more likely to come out with a much more positive outcome. This relates directly to my, my rune reading this morning, by the way. <laughs> That's why I'm laughing. <laughs> ah, you're funny. So, <clears throat> you can sit while the storm is approaching and here and do nothing. And wallow in helplessness. Or, you can choose to access your inner divine. Cultivate your spiritual strength. And see all of these, uh, all of these tests, if you will, as opportunities for you to strengthen yourself and grow. And that will lead to an epic transformation. That's a wonderful Monday reading. <laughs> And again, I just, I need to stress, crisis cannot be avoided. Change cannot be avoided. In fact, it's Carl Gustav Jung. Who says that uh, what we resist persists. 
And the more we shove things into your unconscious and pretend that they're not there and don't acknowledge them and go la 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 la, the more that shadow grows. And the bigger that shadow grows, the more dangerous it becomes. And that that is when uh, that's when like much more serious crisis occurs. So I urge you to bring as much shadow into the light as you can. <laughs> yeah. Have a good day, you guys. And uh, if you're looking, or if you're interested in a personal room reading, definitely email me. I also do tarot readings, though. I haven't been bringing them out in public, but I would do a private reading. <clears throat> okay. Have a good day. Have a good week. Remember that you have so much more power than uh, they want you to know. Happy awakening.